teaching introductory system dynamics and systems thinking with applications to humanitarian supply chains. Everybody can benefit by developing their skills in systems thinking so that we can avoid taking actions that may work in the short run but are actually harmful and create bigger problems in the long run. This is a particularly acute issue in humanitarian work because we're always so starved for resources. Well, we work with them on issues that they bring with them from their own experience, but to generalize, one of the core insights that I hope they're taking away is that it's usually the case that the difficulties we experience, the problems that we experience, especially those that have persisted for long periods of time despite our best efforts to resolve them, are not coming from out there. They're not something that somebody else did to us. They're the result of the unintended harmful consequences of our own actions. Developing the skills to recognize when that's happening, diagnose why it's happening, and especially learn how to design high leverage policy to avoid it is the real purpose of what we're doing here. We started with a simulation game, a board game, which gave people a chance to experience what it's like to be stuck in a complex system. And then we had a variety of other interactive workshop experiences uh, throughout. I, I always believe that uh, although I'm the teacher, I can't teach anybody anything. All we can try to do is create opportunities for people to learn for themselves, and that doesn't happen by listening to a lecture. The students here are phenomenal. It's so humbling and impressive to have the opportunity to work with people who are devoted to such important work, who are working under such difficult conditions, unimaginable for many of us from the developed world, uh, and uh, who bring such a wealth of experience. It's, it's really been a great experience for me.